The Bunnies and the Seeds by Steve L. Thompson's Short Stories for Kids Today we have a book named The Bunnies and the Seeds by Steve L. Thompson, Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. There was once a wise owl who had three seeds. He gave the seeds to three little bunnies. If you plant these seeds and wait for them to grow, you will have something nice to eat, the owl said. The three bunnies all giggled. They took one seed each and ran into the field. The first bunny thought to himself, I don't want to wait. I'll eat that seed now. So he ate the seed. It was hard and dry, and it tasted horrible. I don't like the owl's seed, he said. The second bunny made a hole in the ground and buried his seed. One week later, the first bunny came to see him. I ate the owl's seed, and it tasted horrible he said. The second bunny laughed. You have to plant it and wait. The owl told us to wait. Look, I planted mine and now it has two pretty green leaves. What happens next? said the first bunny. I don't know, said the second bunny, and I don't want to wait any longer. Let's eat them now. So the two bunnies ate the leaves, one each. They soon finished and felt very disappointed. I think the owl was playing a trick on us, they said. The two bunnies were very cross. The owl had promised they would have something nice to eat, but the seed tasted horrible and the leaves were only small. The owl must be wrong. One month later, the two bunnies visited their friend. They had forgotten all about the owl's seed. When they arrived at their friend's field, they were surprised to see a very strange plant. It was very tall. Dozens of green runner beans were hanging from its stem. Hello, said the third bunny. Try these beans. They are very nice to eat and indeed they were delicious. The two bunnies looked at each other. They said sadly, If only we had waited for our seeds to grow, then we would have something as nice as this too. Morale of this story, be patient. Many good things come to those who wait. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.